aggressive rebate promotions for the latest iPhones, iPads, and Apple Watches are not properly paying out, frustrating consumers who believe they would be getting Apple's latest devices at far lower prices. When Apple launched the iPhone 13, it offered huge savings for iPhone 12 owners. For example, an offer in partnership with T-Mobile meant that an iPhone 12 Pro Max owner can trade in that device and get an iPhone 13 Pro Max at no cost. Similar discounts were also offered by Verizon Wireless and AT&T. Apple and the carriers have also offered $100 and $200 back on cellular Apple Watches and new iPads respectively. But many customers, including myself, have found that the rebates have been inexplicably denied by the carriers. In some ways, this year's rebate process has made people feel that the promotions are designed to not pay out unless you have the time to haggle with customer service. T-Mobile told me that the issues have been due to a bug and the company is in the middle of resolving the problems. Still, this has made the new Apple product buying experience this holiday season less ideal than it should have been. I'm even sure there are many customers who are unaware of their, their denials and are unaware of how to resolve the problems. If I were you, I would contact your carrier's customer service department to help resolve your issue. I'm Mark Ehrman. This is Power Off.